OK, so we're going to start off by editing this uh, text file, which we, we have saved with a .json suffix. Um, so curly brackets, speech marks, field name, close speech marks, colon, speech marks, and then the, there's a string data type. So um, we'll put a first name in there, second uh, field name, watching for getting it exactly right. Um, oops, and because I've saved it with dot uh, JSON, uh, Atom is helping me out with um, syntax highlighting if I miss if I miss something. Okay, uh, remembering to add commas at the end, except for the last one in this instance, and remembering to have the opening and closing square brackets. I'm going to save that. So let's walk through this one. I'm importing FMT for formatting uh, and outputs, formatting outputs. I'm using the IOUtil to uh, read a file, and I'm using encoding JSON to, in this instance, um, read a text file as JSON. OK, so I've got um, my struct here. Uh, now, the key thing I want us to look at here is that the, the uh, JSON field names are surrounded by an accent. So you've, you're used to the speech marks, the single speech marks. It's not that. It's not the single speech marks. The accent, you have to dig around on your keyboard, is slightly different. Can you see that? Slightly different between the accent and the apostrophe. Uh, so I've got my field names, and these have to ch match with the... Um, these have to match with the uh, JSON fields. Okay, in my main uh, function, I've got um, a read file command. So I'm using the IOUtil to read the file JSON, uh, friends.json, and I'm sticking it into a, a variable called content. If there's an error, then print the error. That's the two. Error handling is going to become more important for us. Um, I'm going to create a variable called friends which is an array of the friend structs. So friend, it's friends is an array of the friend structures, empty at the moment. Now I've uncommented this line here, JSON, unmarshal, content, and friends. So what this is going to do is take the content object, the empty, the content object, which we've, which is the text file, we've all this, all the content from the JSON file, and it's going to stuff it into. Remember, the and is a pointer. It's going to stuff it into the friends um, array of structs we've just created. Uh, and it's using the JSON unmarshal function to do that. But we're not actually going to use that. We are going to do this. This would work, but instead of doing that single line, we're going to use a, a more heavyweight interpretation. We're going to manage problems. Just in case there's a problem, it, we're now going to have a. We're going to manage the error. If there's a problem, say error JSON on marshalling, can't do it, and then print that out. So this, this, these four, five lines does the same job as this line, but it manages error handling, which is which is grown up. You're ready for that. And then finally, I've got my um, loop, and I'm going to loop through my friends variable, which now has lots of um, lots of data in I guess in a dict. I'm not sure how you it, the struct has been it's grabbed all the data from the struct and is ready to print out all the first names. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to bring this over here, and I'm going to run it, and there we go, I've got all the names. And if I change this to, uh, if I add in a, <clears throat> if I add in another thing in here, and you'll notice I'm using the uh, local uppercase uh, names, not the JSON field names. Save that, and there we go. Check it out. 